Hi, I'm Tommy Caruso, and I'm going to explain uh, preforming a panel before you stack shrink with a power hammer. And here you can see our buck. <clears throat> this is our highlight line, and that's my shrink line where I'll shrink to. And if you look at the panel, you would think that you could fold this edge over to start forming it to fit the buck and then shrink on a 90, but you don't want to do that because well, you'll get puckers there and you'll have too hard of a line there. So when you preform the panel, which I'm about to do, and you'll run the dies in flat, you shrink dies in flat, you'll have a softer line between your highlight line and your shrink area. You're running the dies in straight. So that's what we'll start to do now. And forgive me if I'm not explaining this right because I don't do this all the time and talk about it, I just do it. What have you sprayed on there? This is a mixture that I use. It's transmission fluid and mineral spirits to thin it out. And just what I use, I like, it's, it's got a thin viscosity and I mean, some guys use WD, some guys use motor oil. I like to use thin out uh, transmission oil. Transmission fluid is, you know, one of the purest fluids and without sounding too uh, scientific, because I'm not, it's uh, just what I use and seems to work well for me. So what kind of dyes do you have in here? <clears throat> These are thumbnail shrinking dyes on a small yoder. This is the LK90. These are our first set of strengths. I'm going to take a form at it. This is our first initial set.
starting to work on it now. Alright. Make it shut. Pull it in. There's a second second round of shrinks and starting to work hard now, so I'll probably give it a quick anneal just to take some of the tension out of it and then we'll go back in for a third round and it's already starting to pull into the buck. You can see where where it's gotta come in a little more. What is this fender for? A 1935 Wazan C25 Aradine. French what? coach built car. Were the originals made in aluminum? Yes. The originals were made in Duralum. Duralum. Dur Duralum. <laughs> okay. And uh, uh, these are made out of 3003 half hard 063. So you're going to anneal it now? Yeah. How do you know at what point you want to anneal it? Well, some guys will, will do the soot test with a, with a torch and a soot. I use a piece of hardwood and I'll, I'll torch it and when the, I use a piece of hardwood on there, when the hardwood starts cooking, I know I got it. But at what point do you know that it needs annealing? You can kind of feel the, the, the part will, will start, it'll start ringing a little bit, but as you're shrinking, you'll feel it, it'll start getting stiff on you. And it, it'll, it'll feel like it wants to spread out as you're shrinking. So you, you, you want to, when you anneal something, you could either start right off the bat. I figured I'd start hard and see how she goes and then you try to anneal it in a shrinking stage because you want to put the work hardening back into the part. You don't want a soft panel. At the, you don't want to anneal it right to the end because it's easier to work with because all you'll end up with is a soft part that'll dent easy. You'll probably get cracks in the weld or it'll just be, you know, it'll distort very easy. So that's, and that kind of comes with doing it enough. You, you'll know how much shape is going to go into something and, and you can anneal accordingly.